today going to be working on trying to repaint the Huntsman's feet. These are the feet of the monster that I call the Huntsman, one of the shadow people that I'm making. Now as you can see, they're brown, but his entire body is supposed to be black, like pitch black except for a white mask made out of bone. So I'm going to be repainting them with a mixture that my friend Nick recommended. He remakes masks for Halloween, not like just Halloween masks, but for the movie Halloween, like Michael Myers masks. He remakes them so that they're completely movie accurate, and he's given me some tips on what to do for the paint. I'm supposed to mix half the mixture that I want of acrylic paint, and then half liquid latex to be able to paint over this, and I'm gonna see if that works. And now just to blend them. That's about right, isn't it? that even though it won't look as dark as black, it's going to dry the same color as the acrylic was, so long as I get the mixture right at about half and half. Now I already knew that no matter what I was going to be ruining a paintbrush, so I got a brand new one from the dollar store, and I don't care if it gets ruined, I'm just going to be painting on this stuff and seeing what happens. I've already painted some of my arm hair, so that's going to be real fun a little later. I can tell already. It's already starting to pinch, but he said multiple coats. Ooh. Ooh. He said multiple coats, so I'm gonna let this dry and figure out how to preserve this. Uh, I think before I do another coat in the top. I'm going to do a coat on the bottom using the same mixture. I should preface this video by saying that I have never in my life made a full monster costume like this before. I'm doing everything for the first time. I'm asking a lot of questions to friends and watching a lot of YouTube tutorials on what to do. And I'll try to tell you what I'm doing as I go along in this video series to follow me making one of the shadow people, the Huntsman. So I've hung my feet up to dry, because they're taking a very long time, and it's probably going to be another day or so before they're actually not sticky and I can try to use them. So I had a little bit of a snag when I was making the feet. Uh, they weren't like solid, like they were sticky. The latex and the paint never, like, I don't know if it's not that they fully dried out or what, but it's just very tacky to the touch, and I feel like everything's going to stick to it. It's going to be a giant mess, so if someone recommended that I spray it with something called Plasti Dip. I've been to four hardware stores, nothing yet, but still searching. They said it was in this aisle, and I don't see it. I don't, I don't know. I don't see it anywhere. I found it. I can't reach it, but I found it. So while I was out getting that sealant stuff, um, I also went to a Halloween store so that I could get something to coat with clay so that I can make the mask that I need for the Shadow People costume. And this is the mask that I got. And I kind of feel bad for, like, just using it to cover up, essentially, so that I can make something else, because it fits my face pretty perfectly. I was surprised. But I think it'll be good. I kind of hung up the costume feet in my basement. They're still tacky, but got some of this. 
thought maybe, because I've never used before, I should probably test it out on a box. Just to see if it's white or clear or what. Hold it's gonna dry clear. So we'll check back on that in a little bit. All right, so it's been some hours. I was actually working on my mask uh, else around the house. The stuff dried white, which I definitely do not want. So I'm gonna do test number two. I had some leftover of the mixture of the liquid latex and acrylic paint. I painted it on here. I'm gonna give it a couple of hours and then I'm gonna spray it with the Plasti Dip and see what happens. All right, so it's mostly dry now. It's been a couple of hours. I'm gonna try the solution. Let's see if it works. And now to let that dry. I'm gonna try this out on the bottom of the feet. Got the correct plastic dip now. How it does. First, let's try it here. Yeah, it's clear. I just read that it takes eight hours to dry, so in eight hours, I guess I'm gonna be trying the tops of the feet. Okay. All right, that does feel much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and call it a day on the feet. Mind if I sit here? Hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna sit with you. Okay. Tools. Like this tool. So, no, don't eat that. That's not for food. You're gonna get all messy.